Hi Fraggle friends, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm exploring all of Katara for you. And actually Katara opened in 2010 already and had a soft opening. But in the last 10 years they've been expanding it a lot. And one of the later additions has been this uh, Katara Plaza, which actually has outside open air conditioning. And that is really just amazing. You can totally feel the difference. So we're gonna have a good look at that. Uh, it's already been vlogged by quite a few other YouTubers, including my good friend Tunisian Dreamer as well. So if you don't know the channel yet, just head over it and uh, subscribe there. Um, but I just had to check it out for myself because this is really amazing. It's close to 40 degrees outside. And when I'm standing on top here, I just feel cool air coming to my feet. And ah, oh, it's such an amazing feeling. That is really good. So we're gonna check this out. Follow me, come along, and we'll have a look at all of Katara and this outside air conditioning. So the same way when your body starts sweating that's what it does to actually cool you down because the water evaporating of your skin gives this cooling effect that's how this air conditioning works as well so it's not actually traditional air conditioning and they say that this type of air conditioning uses only half the amount of energy compared to conventional air conditioning systems so that's really quite amazing and quite handy when you're trying to cool down the outdoors of course Again, nobody here just yet, because I'm here on Friday morning, and that's normally when everyone, of course, enjoys their lie-in. But in the afternoon, obviously, it's going to be packed. But it's a great opportunity for me to check it out and enjoy my cool air, right? <laughs> and you can just hear it coming out of the ground here. It's just awesome. If you are in Qatar and you haven't been here yet, it's a must. <sighs> So nice. And they're everywhere, you see? Whew. So this is the actual entrance to the Katara Plaza, which is also home to a Galleries Lafayette department store. You may have heard of it, it's a very famous uh, department to a store chain from France they have it there in about 60 different cities in France there's also one in Casablanca Morocco and one in Berlin Germany and now we have one here in Qatar in Qatar pretty awesome right amazing architecture as well beautiful building with some very colorful decorations ah, it's really really fun coming here beautiful If you come to Katara by car, one of the parking options you have is this underground parking, which is directly underneath Katara Plaza. In the Katara Plaza, you'll find a lot of famous uh, fashion and art sh uh, shops. And all of them very luxury, of course. And the AC is really amazing. Some of the outlets are stronger than others, but uh, overall, you can definitely tell the effect. And today is quite windy, so it's a shame a lot of the cold air is actually rushed away. But I can imagine on a nice calm day, the cold air, because it's heavier than the warm air, should stay nice to the ground level. Should feel really amazing. And it even is now as well. So then there's supposed to be this kids shopping mall here as well in the form of a huge gift. Let's see if we can find that. Ah, 
there we are. Looks like we already found it. I wonder if you can go inside there. Let's try. <laughs> now I feel like a kid, excited. Should really feel myself in front of it, then you can really see the size of it. Look how big it is. Cool, huh? <laughs> wow, nice. But it looks like it's still under construction actually. So I have to wait a little bit longer. The outside is done, but the inside I don't think it's ready yet. Wowie. But super impressive. I love buildings like that with such an unusual shape. That's really cool, huh? Oh, and as the chopper flies around. I was looking for the actual Galleries Lafayette department store, but that's what it is. You see the sign on top there? So that's right here. On the north side of Katara Plaza. Okay, so let's see what's happening inside here. Yeah. I think it's still empty. Maybe we can have a quick peek. Yeah, yeah nothing here yet, so I won't go any further. There's no sign stopping you at all, but I'm sure I'm not meant to enter here, so let's not do that. Nice, eh? Interesting. <laughs> okay, nice. So now we've seen Katara Plaza. Let's explore the rest of Katara as well. Right next to the Kids Mall, you'll also find this interestingly shaped building, which is the Qatar Association for Hunters. Great, here we are at Tasty Street. Looks like a perfect area for a food festival. I don't know if it's permanent or it's only sometimes, but it looks very pleasant. And from what I was able to look up, it looks like this is a perfect place to enjoy some street food, which should be opening very soon in Katara North. Of course, Katara Cultural Village, given its uh, unique location, boasts some really nice and very well-maintained beaches that do come with an entrance fee. Katara beach rules that you can see here are also very strictly enforced. So as you can see for the beach quite a lot of restrictions, which is uh, actually good if you like to keep your traditions of course. Uh, and of course if you're a westerner like me then it's something that you have to keep in mind when visiting the beach here. Lots of water sports activities are possible as well. Water ski, jet ski, parasailing, banana ride. It's all there. See here, the beaches are really well looked after. They do look beautiful, nice white sand. It's awesome. There is also a nice, quite large kids playground area on the south beachfront side of Katara. And here I found steps going up. For sure they're, they're gonna give us a nice view over the Katara Bay right here. Ah. 
I've heard the comments before. You sometimes say in my videos that it's a bit quiet, no people. Actually, I'm here on a Friday morning, so that's probably the quietest time of the week. But Friday afternoons, trust me, it gets packed here. Really busy, very popular spot and understandable. It's a really nice place to hang out. Lots of facilities and so much to see and very colorful. It's amazing. Qatar is actually the historical name for Qatar that was used before the 18th century. And there was a very early mention of uh, Katara by a geographer called uh, Claudius Ptolemaeus around 150 AD. So that's where the name comes from. Katara also boasts a lot of different quality restaurants. And it's also true that you'll find a lot of different arts and cultural centers and museums in Katara. Morning, how are you? All right, keeping it beautiful, right? Then we are here in front of the Saffron Indian Cuisine, Saffron Lounge, and Art Kanaan restaurant. And this might well be the largest key in the world. Pretty impressive. No idea where that would fit in, but it is cool, right? I'll show you for comparison. And I'm actually pretty tall. So yeah, today we are in Katara. Remember, I do have this contest going on. For any comment that you write down below the video, you have a chance to win uh, 50 Katara wheels or 10 US dollars in the form of a Google Play voucher or cash if you prefer that. And then we come to one, uh, what I think maybe one of the most exciting, the most impressive buildings around here, which is this amphitheater right behind me. Really beautiful, very impressive. Sometimes there are some uh, nice concerts in there. Never been yet, but I would love to go actually. Let's see if we can see it from nearby. That's amazing, right? Here we are walking in the middle of it. Very, very cool. Now I would say this is definitely an awesome view from the amphitheater, middle of Katara, around the bay. Really nice. I'm ready for my concert. And then through here, we're looking towards the pearl. Beautiful structure, right? I love these light brown colors together with the blue sky, which you get most of the year. That's amazing. And 
there we are back at ground level. Lots of restaurants around here too. Looks like a golden mosque here. Beautiful golden decorations around. Very pleasant area to walk around as well. With the shade canvas over the top. Green in between. You can hear the birds whistling. Just enjoy the walk for a while. that's me so I think it becomes quite obvious all the buildings are put up to reflect Qatar's architectural and cultural heritage right beautiful so much to see Throughout Qatar you'll find a lot of these mini water canals. They make it look really beautiful. But it was less funny when my daughter actually stepped in one of them and wet her shoes last winter. <laughs> I'm sure she wasn't the first one and she won't be the last one either. <laughs> but it does look really nice. Here we come to the main Qatar mosque, a beautiful design by the Turkish Zainab Fadil Oglu. And here we come to quite an interesting landmark. I think if you show anyone a picture of this place, they'll know exactly where you actually are. It's become such an iconic little landmark and they are these Pigeon Towers. So the green hills behind me here are also really nice for a walk around. Let's go and explore those as well, shall we? And here I am actually at the North Katara Hills. It's a beautiful area for a walk on gentle slopes and there is an actual stream winding through it and on top of the hill you'll find the Bait El Tala, a great restaurant with amazing views over the whole of Qatar.
apart from Tunisian Dreamer, there are some other YouTubers you should really check out as well. My really good friends. They are Millions Vlog and C707. Millions doing a lot of dance videos on popular songs and C707 does travel and a lot of Qatar as well. Check them out, yeah, and subscribe of course. Oh, after all that vlogging, getting a little bit hot now. So I just ordered myself a nice fruity cocktail from Usha Freshka. Nice, right? Let's enjoy that. All the way home. On the south side of Qatar, there's also a very large open air car park, which also happens to be very close to the Qatar kite surf spot, which I featured in one of my other videos. Go check it out, of course. Follow the link in the description or appearing here on screen. Okay, and that's all about Qatar. Remember to comment down below for a chance to win 10 uh, US dollars or 50 Qatari reals. A mention on the channel as well if you do that. For one of you making a comment down below the video. And thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel, give us a like. Hopefully we'll see you very soon again. And you enjoyed Qatar. We've seen so much here. The amphitheater, <coughs> Qatar Plaza, mosques, restaurants, the beach. A lot of information there, so hopefully that was useful. Okay, ciao, bye bye.